In Livingston, the West Alabama basketball teams hosted their rival in the West Florida Argonauts. Couple of heated matchups tonight, starting with the women's team. There goes Camille Clark helping her team take the lead just before the half. Next play looks the same. Kadre Jensen, the pass to Clark. She adds two more here. She led the team tonight with 14 points. Argos lead late in the third, though. They add to their lead here. Jaden Langford works the inside for two. Argos are starting to pull away late. Tigers trying to fight back as Julia Rodriguez gets in on the action. That is in, and she draws the foul. Lady Tigers trail by eight with with about a minute left to go. Jensen fights her way through the block to try and help her team get ahead, but the last minute effort falls just a bit short. Tough match, but West Florida gets a 52 to 46 win. The Tigers fall to 4 and 11 on the season. But the men's game did follow right after. The record pretty much the opposite of the women's team at 10 and 4. West Florida would get on the board first, though, with the flick of the wrist from Miles Ruth. University band getting everyone hyped up tonight. That'll help CJ Melton just inside the paint to help give the Tigers an early half lead. West Florida's Latarian White answers right back. Tie game now. Out of the break, Tigers try and turn it on. This is the cleanest swish you will ever see from Maurice Dickerson. That is good for three. 11 to 9, Tigers early on. Argos would respond with a nice three of their own though. A better night overall for the Tigers men's team. They improved to 11 and 4 with a nice 58 to 46 win over their rival. The Tigers will be back home on Saturday against Valdosta State.